How's it going everybody? This is Colin Daniels working at CF Detailing, Ventura, California. Today we're replacing a window in a 1968 Airstream. Now, if you do have a broken window in your 1968 Airstream, it's also similar in year 66 and 67, you're in luck because these windows are flat windows so it's not curved glass, so you're saving yourself a good chunk of money by not having to get that curved glass on some of these early 50s, 60s, and 70s windows that got a lot of curves. So right here, it's just a flat piece of glass. Um, it's actually a very simple process. So here it's a two-piece process. So when the window shattered, we had actually somebody working and you know these windows weren't taped down. They didn't have the latch here, so they were able to fly up. So one thing if you're buffing or if you're working close to glass that isn't secured, you always gotta be careful, especially when you're working with a grinder or something because you can knock into the window. And in this case, it just shattered the whole window. So if your window is becomes shattered and it shatters into a million different pieces, but it kind of stays frame, that means it was a tempered glass, which is the correct glass to use for these trailers. Uh, a little more expensive than just regular glass, but that's the road ready glass. You can actually see the uh, little mark here on this glass that right here at the bottom, it's a little seal. That's make sure that it's tempered right there. Now this piece of glass, um, this is the flat piece of glass for the front and the back windows. The length is 39 inches in width by 20.5 in height. You could order a piece of glass like this off a of vintage trailer supply, or you could go to your local glass store and have them cut it. Make sure they cut it with a chamfered edge, and it's eighth inch glass here. Anyways, if you want to come take a look at this window, I'll show you how. Here's, our, here's the piece. Now, I went ahead at, at first and glued this piece on, thinking I'd be able to slide the window in, but so that's why I'm making this video, because I was incorrect in uh, replacing this first, so I figure a little education on how to do it correctly. So like I said, this is essentially, this window is just connected here. But the, this piece will be used to sandwich the window in with this piece here. So if you come over here real quick, I'll show you how this works. So when the window got smashed, I had a bunch of broken pieces and this was on here just like that. Now, I was wondering how do I get this off? So there's of course a little latch in here connected to here and I, I took the latch off and I'm looking at it and then, I gave a call over to my friend Jason Dorchester at Dorch Design, really cool guy, very, very knowledgeable, and he told me that this piece actually just comes right off. So this was completely caulked on here. We're going to re-caulk it when we seal it back. And basically I had to remove the caulking, remove the glass, remove the screws here, and then this piece just popped right off like so. And now what we're going to do is when we replace it, we're going to caulk our area here, we're going to line up the holes, we're going to have the glass right here in the edge and we're just gonna caulk it in and then this piece and the screws is going to sandwich the glass in between here to make it secure. Then you attach your latch back on and it's, it's pretty simple, it'll be easy up and down. Right now it's not quite lined up, but we're gonna come back with, uh, see how it slides so it can be a little confusing, but it actually just fits right in there. So the glass is going to go right in between this edge and these screws are gonna tighten it right back up right there. You see this just pops right out. So that's essentially how these windows work here on a, this is a 1968 Airstream Overlander. Um, so just a little info on how this works. I'll go over it one more time. You got a 39 by 25 piece of eighth inch glass with a chamfered edge. Um, and you have this piece here and you have your screws. And of course you have your sealant. I'm going to use, uh, the original Airstreams were used with half inch butyl tape. You could get the butyl tape from Vintage Trailer Supply, but I find back in the day, things were a lot stronger than they are now. So that butyl tape that they have now really isn't that great. I would just use some clear silicone. I got the good stuff, Gorilla Glue, uh, clear sealant here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna caulk this. I'm gonna caulk this up. I'm gonna have that secured, and then we're just gonna slip the window right in there. Um, and that's how that's gonna work here. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so I'm putting in my caulking. First, a nice clear, oh, there you go, clear line all the way down. You know, you don't want to go, you want to use as much as you possibly can. It's going to start start coming out a little bit. You can always clean that up. Oh, let me put some more up in here, here. This is where the window is going to be sitting. rag on hand so you can clean up if you get a little sloppy like I just did. Kinda. 
I'm using that Gorilla Glue sealant here. Right. It can get a little messy. Now, I'm gonna take this one, I'm gonna also cock this one up. here well, you don't want this thing to come undone you want it to be waterproof so I think we'll just give a healthy healthy load of it <laughs> so now I'm going to take this piece So now I'm kind of new to this myself here. We're going to line up the holes. If we can. That's not quite, I'm not quite lined up there. It may actually be. Am I on the wrong side? I might no, be. No, you're on the right. I just gotta line the holes up. Let me see. I think over my way a little bit. Right about there. Oh, there you go. Now I can see that they're all lined. Got my caulking in there nice and strong. Some screws. These are the screws that originally came with it. What you're gonna need, a little small screw like that. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is nearby. piece of glass and it just you gotta position it right it would help if I had a little helper here putting this thing up on with me but it just slides in all right so here I have it slid in just like that as you can see now we're gonna drill the screws in and that, uh, <laughs> drill the screws in excuse me and um, from there that'll tighten the window in there and then we'll connect our latch and it's pretty simple, pretty easy installation. Um, <laughs> wanted to put this video out there because like I said, I messed it up the first time and I actually glued the piece onto the window and I had to spend time uh, removing that with us. Uh, I use paint stripper to remove it if you have to do anything like that. That's, that's how I got the thing off. Um, holding it in place at the moment, it'd be good if you had another guy here to just drill in the uh, screws with you. So about a two man, two man job, three man. If you have them around, I'll lose more than merrier. Um, so once again, this is replacing a window flat glass on a 1968 Airstream. We're here at CF Detailing. I'm Colin F. Daniels, and this is a Trailer Talk volume of fixing a 1968 window. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, feel free to visit our website or give us a call at 805-833-0083 with any of your questions. I uh, take pride and have fun uh, talking about this stuff, so you can give me a call anytime. Right on, and I hope you guys are having a good one. Voila, just like that, we've replaced the window, we've solved the problem, we have done it. <laughs> you know, you just put the screws in the top, the last thing would be to connect the latches here so that it will connect from the inside, and then this one latch here so you can go up and down. But as far as installing the window, there it is. Very simple. You have, it's a two-piece process. You put the one piece on, slide the glass in, you use the screws to hold in the coffee. And now the final little process here, we'll be going back with a little rag. You can use a shop towel. I'm using a microfiber rag here that I have handy. Very absorbent. And just going back over. And I'm just getting this caulking off before it dries on the surface. If for any reason it does dry, the best way I find to get this stuff off is to use paint stripper, aircraft aluminum stripper, Jasco stripper, Klein strip. Any of those brands will work for you, but hopefully you won't have to be doing any of that because you would have installed it right by watching this video. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, you can see it goes all the way up. Bada bang.
comes down, bada boom. Like I said, it was a pretty easy process. I know these things can be very frustrating, um, but you know, it's like anything. You just take it one step at a time and, and you figure it out. So I hope this video was information, uh, informative excuse me, for you and uh, so that it'll make this process of restoring your Airstream going easier. Um, any questions, concerns, give me a call, 805-833-0083. Thanks for watching the video. CF Detailing, Colin Daniels.